Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live here at the Hotel Cafe with Jeff Rosenstock. Jeff, thanks for being here. Thanks for having <laughs> us be here. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for asking. Yeah, yeah, dude, this feels yeah. good, man. This is the very last session. We've just recorded 25, you're the 26th artist we've recorded this week, and then uh, we'll pack it up and do it again next month. That's that's great, that's perfect. And we're all 26 years old, so that works out exactly <laughs> exact. So that's Wonderful. perfect. Yeah. And we'll do, thank you for closing Combined. it out. Like Thank this? this? This is awesome, man. Thanks for closing us out uh, this week. And what are we hearing today? What do you feel like playing today? Uh, okay, so uh, this, this is my friend Chris Farron, and we're in a band together called Antarctica Vespucci. Uh, and yes. I asked uh, Chris to play some of these songs with me. And then when I was thinking of a fourth song, I was like, shit, we should play an Antarctica Vespucci song. It'll be fun. And Kevin's in that band sometimes, too. Right, um, so this is an Ann. Uh, take it away with, uh, with, with the introduction, please, Chris. This is a song I wrote. It's called Impossible to Place. I wrote it all alone. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. Wait, Mo. We wrote it together. Which part? I wrote... You wrote Impossible the, in Place. Yeah, and you wrote... It should be to the... Wait. <laughs> impossible to the place. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four. A spirit. Resolve, like not to the. <laughs> Thanks. Is there yeah. is there some sort of chat in in your YouTube looking at right now? How did we do on the harmonies yeah, in yeah, the chat? There, there is chat going, but the chat is between me and you. I don't have the comments pulled I... up because this computer is going out to the internet. I don't want to watch it at the same time and break the whole thing. That would. That, oh man, that'd be like <laughs> snake eating its own tail. <laughs> Shit. Oro um, Bobos. So no, Bobos. Yes. Look. I've never read a book, so. There you go. What's Har up? Harmony's legendary, says Dan. <laughs> oh, wow. Thanks. <laughs> thank you, chat. Um, man, well, thank Told you, you they don't know anything. for doing this. Like, we were trying <laughs> to, to make, the, uh, make the scheduling work here, and I, I yeah. guess you were in the studio for, like, the exact days that we are here at Hotel Cafe, and you're able to make this one one time slot work, so we're stoked at that. Yeah, I want to thank Joyce Manor, because oh, I yeah, did not yeah. mean to uh, <laughs> take their time slot, and they're good friends, and I'm sorry, Joyce Manor. They were Manor. great, man. That was, like, yesterday, they were great. Joyce Manor was awesome. I watched it. They were awesome. Yeah, I was working on some Craig the Creek stuff, and it was an intense few weeks at the creek. Has that been taking? Has that project been taking up most of your time lately? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, it's it's like it's it's always going. It was good like during the pandemic that I had like a, the, the whole third season of Craig of the Creek to work on. Like the first, I think I got to work like 
early on it too like before i even had to because i was just like well fuck it i got nothing to do let's go um and, and then it was to, good that like i had all the time because it's hard to think of anything that seems good <laughs> for like the last year so yeah uh, you've had, a, you've had, a, there's a huge amount of those episodes that you've done, right? It's like 60 or 80 or a hundred episodes or something like that. Yeah. At, th- well, at this point, I just, I'm wrapping up like 121 at this wow. point. Yeah. It's plenty of them. And me and Chris did, uh, two of them together, three of them together, two of them, one and a half hour. So depending how you count. And then Kevin played on some too. But yeah, it's Sweet. fun. It's, it's a lot. Yeah. Well, dude, I'm glad that, that that wrapped exactly in time for you guys to get here and do this. This is, <laughs> yeah. uh, this is great. And there's a lot more music to be shared with the internet. What do you guys feel like doing second today? Uh, okay, this is a song called uh, uh, Caring, and it's from the record 2020 Dump. <clears throat> it's a rocker, so get ready to stop sleeping. <laughs> get ready to stop sleeping. You like it? I haven't written a song in a month So I'm playing the same chords again I know I need to get lost in the moment But I get lost before it begins Fingers stretching out into space Reaching as a thought slips away It's been so long since I've done what I should That I forgot what I'm supposed to do Realistic goals feels amazing to set them Like shit when you don't follow through Or even make repeated attempts Your paranoia's got you verklempt Song of the year of this century I want to wake in a new country One without fear of my enemies Coming at me in my sleep I tried to ride the sunshine from the morning right over the 8 p.m. hump. Six miles later, I'm drinking a tall boy and rolling another one up. Forgive yourself for not being good. Chase a morning wrapped in a hood Rinse and repeat and think of anything else Tomorrow when you run along The second fence they built on Suicide Bridge I guess people just kept jumping off Even if we all understand There's people that want to see you again There's people that want to see you again It don't care that this fucking place is a shithole Song of the year of this century I want to wake in a new country One without famine or poverty No elite Song of 
the year of this century. Good if you're not really listening. Bad at effect in reality. COVID a million. Dinosaur flu. I'd lick the floor if I got to see you caring makes you feel like a chump when you see someone else who doesn't want to and the song is Thanks, guys. Man, this Thanks. is fun, dude. Thanks for doing this. Um, we are. Do you want to talk about hot sauce? I'd want to talk about hot sauce. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, dude. I don't so, know if I put oh, this hot sauce. The, oh, I got one right. I got one here as well, so I can. I've got a camera on me, so they this can see the teenage they Halloween see hot the, sauce. Yeah. So Luke Hendricks from Teenage Halloween. This band, whose T-shirt I'm wearing, it's the, named after a tribute to your song Twinkle, and I mean, this is like the coolest way that he can, I think, uh, show you how much how much they dig your music, and uh, and I dig their music. They're record it's fucking awesome. They're yeah, great. yeah, and uh, and so Luke sent us over some hot sauces, um, and I found out. Uh, I don't know if you're still making it or not, but the Death Rosen sauce that you used to make. Oh, are, yeah, yeah. Are you still in uh, in hot sauce land? Uh, I I don't know. I mean, I don't. I didn't make that. That was this company Soothsayer in Chicago. Um, I know. I met them in Chicago. I'm pretty sure they're, they're from Chicago. Chicago. They're, so they're in Chicago. They're there right How now. do you know that? <laughs> you, don't, you don't fucking know. A little something called Born Hot Sauce, baby, <laughs> by Chris uh, Farron. Um, anyway, uh, thanks, for, thanks for giving me that good switch moment. Um, uh, yeah, they, they made it. It was cool. When we were on tour, they gave us like three. We, I, I told them what I was thinking, and they gave us three prototype hot sauces that we were just putting on everything. And it was sick. It was literally a dream come true. I don't know if they're still making it. I, maybe they are. Go online. I saw, yeah, yeah, I saw Figure it like out 2018, online. I think. I don't know. I don't know if it's still, still current, but it just seemed like the... Uh best way I would to spend that- some in-between song segments talking about hot sauce as i know you are an aficionado so thank you luke i'm, I'm positive luke's t- tuned in right now so oh, thanks, thanks luke thanks for the hot sauce ahead. i've been yeah. excited I've, I've noticed you're making them and i was like "Ooh, i want to try that so now wow it's gonna happen i'm gonna try it right this is goner. am i like fucked complete, is this, is this like in is like beyond spicy Dude, this one is pretty spicy it's i mean i, I finished a, a bottle in like a month so it's not intolerably oh, okay. spicy it's not like uh the bomb or anything right no 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 if anyone's seen this small internet tv show called hot ones uh it's have you done hot ones have I done hot ones? No. How? What the fuck? Hell no. They haven't had me on. That'd be sick. Uh, they don't know what I what I do. Uh, yeah. Should I play more song? Yeah. Let's do that. I, I can't. I'm trying to read eyes. I uh, contact. Dude, it's so difficult with 18 feet distance and only half my face visible. But do I think we're doing pretty good, man? I'm yeah. having a good time here, enjoying the music very much. So thank thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks for having. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Uh, this is a song called uh, ACAB. I see your eyes while I'm asleep or making copy running driving I see your eyes You're having fun in the backyard, the break room, home on the couch, lapping. I see your eyes. You listen to your friends, you work hard, do the dishes when it's your turn. You were kind. And no one will ever see you again. I hear you praying it's 
a nightmare that you'll wake up that they'll listen that your parents know you love them can't believe it's happening or no one will ever see you again no one will that song all right. thanks all right thanks jeff thank you um wait, so you're gonna do one from from no dream next you released dur during pandemic and i mean i know you've put out a, t a lot of free music over the years and uh this is no exception there's no obligation but if you do ch choose to pay for it then the donation all goes to food not bombs which is a very very cool thing for you to do can you talk a bit more about the organization or how you think might, people might be able to get involved with, if not even that specific organization, but just how people can do things that yeah. are decent to better things for everybody else. Sure. Okay. Well, I think, I mean, I think the first step is just being, being nice to your fellow person who you see and just being kind to people. We're all going through some rough shit and uh, I feel like everyone's just more and more at each other's throats every, uh, every day that goes by throughout all this. So just be be kind to each other. Um, but yeah, uh, Food Not Bombs has been around for 40 years. Uh, when I was growing up and like, you like getting punk records, uh, I like I, I, a lot of the more like activist punk bands or just kind of political punk bands would always be talking about Food Not Bombs and they'd be tabling at shows and um, it kind of, and I, when I was trying to think of an organization, um, this, uh, for this record to donate to, um, I, I was like, I, 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 I honestly, I was like, oh shit, like it's still, like it's still going, it's still as strong as ever, there's chapters where I live. Um, the concept is basically that they take food that would either, that would go to waste and they cook it and they give, they give uh, people who, hungry people, uh, nice vegan meals, hot vegan meals that they can eat. Um, and the fact that they do that um, as a statement against war is just kind of like, uh, basically like that, that's inspiring to, that, that inspired me just as like, um, and, um, for everybody watching, I'm really good at talking. So cool. Uh, but like, <laughs> uh, like just the fact that we can all do what we could, we have time and we could do what we choose with some of that time. Um, and you can make a choice to, uh, use your anger and to be violent and to hurt somebody or to continue to be complacent and to continue to just kind of like allow the systems to exist uh, that have like 
you know, ruined a lot of people just because you're comfortable with those systems. Um, or you could be like, I've, I'm going to say fuck war. I'm going to say fuck violence. I'm going to say this and I'm going to try and feed people who need food, uh, which is a really just like as, as someone who is often feeling like uh, doing stuff and sometimes feeling lost in how to accomplish things, it's really uh, incredible to be able to like, well, it's not, that, that part's not incredible. <laughs> it's to look up to uh, an incredible organization like Food Not Bombs, uh, who've been doing it for so long. So long that like, I don't know, like they get, and they get shit on by people. They could try to take it down. They keep fucking going. I think that that's awesome. Uh, like it's to see that just gives me like hope that there are some good people out there. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. You, if you live somewhere, you might have a Food Not Bombs chapter. And if you don't, you might be able to start one up. Yeah, and I if was you, just telling you offline, Sunny War, who, is, who just visited us here at this studio, I think she was on Tuesday. She just recently, like in the last two or three years, maybe started the one of the ch- chapter in LA, uh, Skid Row chapter. So yeah. it's very, very alive and well and thriving. That's awesome. Props to her. And I'm glad that that is happening. Yeah. It's, yeah. you know, throughout, throughout, like, I don't know, you know, just without getting too deep into it, just seeing every every terrible thing that's happening, it's it's nice to see these little rays of light. And uh, I just wish that fucking, I don't know, the people who benefit from the consolidation of power to the evil super rich people would maybe try to, like, I don't know, help everybody out, you know? Thinking about Echo Park very specifically a lot these days, of just, like, booting these people from where they live because, I don't know, for, for no good reason. Truth, truly. People deserve to live somewhere. Anyway... That's my Sprite-sponsored political moment. <laughs> Man, well, thank you. Thanks for sharing the music. Thanks for, uh, for being here and, and being, uh, being Jeff. I like it. I like everything that's happening here. And Thanks. We, Thanks um, for having me. I barely played the Cool. Do we still get a fourth song? Okay. That was it. Should we, 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 should we play it? No, you guys. Well, now we all have to switch uh, faces. Okay, this song's called Leave It in the Sun. One, two, three. Don't let me know all the reasons that it probably shouldn't work. Let me know all the things I'll never do. Don't go reframing my truth in a context versus you. All aggressive, like I got something to prove. If you knew that I think about you every single day, would it make you feel like I'm too much for you? Or would you kind of want to say you don't have to feel that way? I've been trying not to think about you too Leave it in the sun to melt away Leave it in the sun to melt away Or burn the skin On a shaky table in a stranger's home When I hightail out of town Someone else will knock it down Because I'm too proud to do it on my own Hardest part of growing up is letting go
And now you get to sanitize that piano. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, thank you for doing this. Chris, thank you. Kevin, thank you. You guys sounded Thanks. great. And thanks. You had thanks a chance to, to get on stage for the first time in a bit and, <laughs> and do this. And yeah, uh, yeah man, this, is, this has been a lot of fun. We'll see you in New York next time or somewhere. We're taking this on yeah. the road and going around to different cities. Cool. So hope Sweet. you cross paths again in, you know, a year or whenever it is. Yeah, I hope so too. Thanks a lot for having us. It was really nice to play music with my friends in this kind of thing. It's been a long time. Some of those songs never played with anybody. So yeah, cool. All right. See you next time. Bye. Bye.